The fourth generation of the Honda Best Seller appeared with us in 2012. The car was sold only with petrol engines of 2.0 liters, 150 horsepower, and 2.4 liters, 190 horsepower, with a six-speed mechanics and a five Napazon automatic, and exclusively with an all-wheel drive transmission, which was combined with both engines and gearboxes. After restyling in 2015, the top four began to produce 188 horsepower and sunk into oblivion, and instead of an automatic hydromechanical box, a variator appeared. The second generation Honda CRV went on sale in 2001 with 2.0 liter, 150 horsepower, and 2.4 liter, 142 horsepower, petrol engines, with which the new mechanics and the four speed automatic worked. The third generation Honda CRV has grown significantly in size compared to its predecessor, but the engines have not changed much 2.0 liters, 150 horsepower, and 2.4 liters, 170 horsepower. But the boxes have grown in transmission, the mechanics have become 6-speed, and the automatic transmission, 5-speed. Both gasoline engines installed on the CRV are a priori reliable, but extremely demanding on the quality of fuel and oil, and the choice of service should be picky. Dealers recommend changing engine lubricant every 10,000 kilometers or more. And this is no accident, both engines have two thin piston rings. They coke very quickly and, as a result, lie down. The extension of their life is facilitated by a more frequent oil change than prescribed by the factory regulations. The Japanese recommend changing it every 7,000 to 8,000 kilometers. But if the deformation of the rings nevertheless occurred, the oil consumption increases significantly, which leads to very unpleasant consequences, up to the rotation of the liners. But this happens very rarely. By the way, the base R20A engine is equipped with an intake phase change system and a variable intake manifold geometry. But there are no hydraulic compensators in the valve drive, they are regulated by the selection of washers after 100,000 km. Approximately the same amount was released to the left engine mount, which will remind you of itself with vibrations at idle. By the way, the back, which can withstand not much longer, will cost twice as much. Not only spark plugs and ignition coils suffer from are not the highest quality gasoline, but also the converter and oxygen sensors. After 150,000 to 180,000 kilometers, the timing chain can stretch, the engine starts to troit and reluctantly pick up speed, and when starting on a cold one, it can make specific sounds. Replacement will cost 25,000 rubles. Approximately the same symptoms can be traced in the older brother K24A, which was based on a 2.0 liter engine. The base, 4, is combined with both boxes, and the top, only with the machine gun. There are no complaints about the 6-speed mechanics, except that the linkage of the lever loosens over time. The issue is resolved by purchasing a repair kit for 4,500 rubles. AKP is also not replete with problems. There are isolated cases of failure of the torque converter or hydraulic valve block. To extend the life of the box, it is recommended to change the oil in it along with the filter. 8,500 rubles every 40,000 to 60,000 kilometers. Lubrication will not harm the mechanics and the variator, which has appeared on the Honda CRV since 2015. By the way, according to Honda's proprietary regulations, the replacement of special fluids in both gearboxes and the clutch should be done every 40,000 kilometers. It would seem that everything is fine, but one sore has been haunting the crossover for several generations. These are the rear wheels that stand up as a house. The owners solved the problem by installing special spacers for the springs, but the remaining elements of the chassis are durable. Even the stabilizer struts can withstand up to 90,000 kilometers. Even more release to the levers, ball joints and silent blocks of the front suspension. Shock absorbers are often changed after hundreds of thousands of kilometers. Therefore, a used Honda CRV can be safely taken, but when choosing a car, consider the above described source. Most importantly, do not spare money for diagnostics, it will help to avoid unforeseen expenses. Transmission. It's no secret that genuine Honda parts are expensive. However, as well as branded gearboxes. By the way, the Japanese company uses gearboxes and power equipment of its own production on its machines. Hence the high quality and reliability. Added to this are short oil change intervals in the transmission which also contributes to the durability of the units. Engine. The flagship K24A engine is equipped with a variable valve timing system on the intake and exhaust shafts, 
as well as IBTEC valve opening and closing technology. Fluid couplings could not withstand more than 100,000 kilometers, and replacement costs 35,000 rubles. The Japanese upgraded the node in 2014, and today this problem is no longer relevant. It is a pity that after restyling this motor was no longer put on a crossover. Suspension. In addition to the rear wheels that stand up like a house due to a design miscalculation, the Japanese crossover has practically no weak points in the chassis. And the service life of the remaining suspension elements directly depends on the driving style of its owner. The style is more aggressive, the more often the car drives into the service, and for a calm owner. Even the front brake pads can easily withstand up to 60,000 to 80,000 kilometers of run. Body. The paintwork of the crossover is not particularly durable. However, at the same time, there should be no metal corrosion or paint swelling. Honda's double-sided hot galvanized coating is resistant and durable. Chips and scratches appear after two to three years of operation and are more common on the hood, wheel arches, and sills. Electric. On the CRV, it's practically hassle-free. Minor network failures do occur, but they occur sporadically, and mostly on very old instances. Here are just a regular battery of small capacity and compact size, it discharges rather quickly. True, in recent years, batteries similar in size, but with a larger capacity, have appeared on sale. Pros and Cons Plus reliable engines, durable gearboxes, trouble-free transmission, generally strong suspension, spacious interior, excellent driving performance expensive maintenance short oil change intervals high prices for original spare parts